Previously on Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. I'll just give her the old bag voice. There's no stop chatter. Oh no! Oh no, it is old bag, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck my paws. <laughs> ah! I come in peace. Now I'm just getting fucking die. And now back to pointing at people. Hello. This is Sneako B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. When we last left off, our favorite little goober got kidnapped by some evil Scarface butler guy. And now Pearl and I must investigate to save her. Just gotta figure out what the freaking balls is going on. Oh, and we met Kameda who was living in jail. He's like a he's like Kameda, but even more stoned. Somehow. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So I, yeah, okay, we'll be investigating. I was like, I don't imagine we're starting the trial. And I, <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking ready. Holy shit. <laughs> this is how Pearl starts her morning. She's just flexing. She's ready to fuck some shit up. Watching her live in the park. Hey, I'm ready. Well, at least we're able to get Mr. Matt on guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do that, which is very important. <laughs> Will you stop flexing, please? <laughs> so, now what, should we, now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Ungard's innocence. We had to find the real killer. Okay, let's start looking. <laughs> let's do it! All right, let's do it. <laughs> I am so pumped! March 21st, Gatewater Water Hotel. Hotel lobby. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Psh, oh, psh, oh, psh, no, psh, ah, psh, ah, uh, I'm an alien, brah. <laughs> you can't come in without. <laughs> good, mor good morning. Hold on, it's you. What is going on around here? <laughs> ah, piranha face. Ah. Uh, um. I heard Power 4 1 was killed. Is that true? It's a matter. Rerun is what what this is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil deeds. <laughs> um, you know, that's not entirely. I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Wands. Of course you were. God damn it. It's just like the last case. Great. And I bet Wand is the real evil person, right? Why, oh, why do all the stars of my I'm interested in drop one my one like flies? Even Edgy Poo is dead. <laughs> Apparently. Except he's not really. I tell you about a class hamster I had, and then I fucked this guy, then I had sex with this other dude, and then I'm an old piranha, look at me! Rah, rah, rah. Uh, uh, I'm actually, I want to ask you about the murder and what happened. No, don't, don't push me, boy! Rah, I'm gonna eat you! I'm gonna eat your face! Uh, Mr. Nick, I, um, uh, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was dogging too fast. <laughs> Ms. Oldbag, can you please speak a little slower? <laughs> Man, someone who's, someone who's old, you sure... You sure are like on just like dial 11 all the fucking time. Don't boss me around, you spiky haired smarty pants. Ah! Eat shit and die, asshole! Uh, oh god! Uh, uh, oh no, Mr. Dick! Uh, oh god, it's burning! Uh, uh. Okay, no, really, stop doing that. <laughs> oh hey! Hey, you remember this old bag? Look! I don't have anything to say to Link, what's like you? Sure, she's climbing up like an old clam she is. Oh. Please, anything would be helpful. Well, then how about I tell you about my measurements? What the fuck? <laughs> Ew, no! There are double, double, double saggy flat pancake deeds. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> uh, blah, blah. <laughs> What's measurements? <laughs> no. What are you saying in front of Pearl, you sick, twisted fuck? She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? <laughs> like, how can you, like... Treat me like shit when you get like this cute little, when you got cute little Pearl over here. It's like, come on, look, look, I, she, you know you want to make Pearl happy? Hey, <laughs> tell me what you know. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about these little shits. They're on the rap music. You're a little delinquent too, aren't you, you little fucker? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh, why, why your measurements? Oh, oh my lord almighty. I don't- I lost track of whatever my measurements were ages ago. Okay, the victim. Oh, my dear everybody, here I go with that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that makes this- this heart go but up again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I don't want your words, no one's gonna go get away with saying anything bad about my wand. But I- <laughs> I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman that woman says anyway. Uh, what woman? 
That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. <laughs> oh, fuck me, Lana's here. I mean, what does that matter? Her speaking's supposed to be. Why does she never stop? <laughs> I guess I asked the same about you. <laughs> Honestly, women these days, I don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was a young maiden, I was beautiful flower flowers. I, anyway, I fuck this guy, I fuck this other guy, I fuck the judge, I fuck Kabuto, I fuck <laughs> Edgy Boo. Wait, what was that second one? Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you gonna pay? Are you paying attention, youngins, today? Fuck you, Pearl wants some juice. Fuck you, you old hag. Get her some juice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Some reason was all back her to let everything from Lana. Rah, rah. Stop broadening me. Just tell me what happened. What do you think about what happened there around the time of the murder? I still don't get why she's dressed like a fucking Martian. I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? <laughs> Show of course. Well, I have the press conference after afterwards. You mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Uh, see. But. Uh? But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw, saw very clearly. What? Why the fuck did you say so? I saw the most important moment of the night. <laughs> One's big bulge. Oh, fuck me. I tell you, that dick has got to be at least three feet lot long. I swear to God. I've seen my fair share. Okay, uh, no, no, I'm already. Stop talking about your sex life. I don't want to hear it. Want to tell you about my measurements? No. Ah. <laughs> run, Pearl, run. <laughs> the most important moment you don't mean. Oh, so now you treat me with respect, do you? Respect, disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you really be polite. Really, kids these days. Please tell me what you say. Tell me, old bag. Tell me, old bag. I'm a shaker. Oh, here we go. Uh, of course you've got to be hiding something. Holy freaking fruity fuck! I've got a lot of locks, baby. <laughs> you can you can turn my key anytime, there, Phoenix. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I feel like some of these dirty secrets I don't even want to know. They have nothing to do with the case. All of these locks. <laughs> the murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then one murder isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stray on to another tangent, mate. <laughs> Play. If you want to hear more of the show your respect and bring this lady a present? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not even I'm not even gonna try to like convince her to like <laughs> This isn't some magical like convincing act like trying to get her to tell me what to what, what she knows It's just gonna be me giving her sh giving her gifts Here have a here have some money. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> and then locks them all at once You're fucking up. You are a piece of work. You know that old bag? Damn you old bag. March 21st, get water hotel, Viola, Viola Hall. Wow, that lobster's still out. It's kind of starting to stink. <laughs> Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. Is anyone ever going to eat that food? Those all staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. <laughs> I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in the, this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up our sleeves and try, I guess. But first, lobster! Oh, my bear, my bear friend is still here. Hello, bear friend. Hello there, Phoenix. I have come from the, the nether realm to grant you a wish. Sweet. M Mr. Nick, we had things to do. Oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe later, Mr. Bear. No, come back, please. Fuck. I was going to transfer him to our high school and fuck his day up. Damn it. March 21st, K-Water Hotel. Oh. Hey, you're here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, hey, look, it's my theme song. Doo-doo. Lot of heart is here to fuck your fucking day. Been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lana! Hey, Mr. Copfella, thief showed his face. W w what? Arrest him, put him on trial, find him guilty, give him death penalty. W what's wrong, Lana? Are you feeling alright? What the fuck are you doing? Are you laying some shit on me? Oh, you fucking. Mm. Look here, look here. And there, up down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you, why don't you turn him and give it back to me, you creep? Uh, um, what are you looking for? Dumb, my camera, C A M U R Y A. Camera! <laughs> it's my live blood. I'm gonna die without my $700 camera. Your camera? Look, don't like, don't lots of people say the criminal go always go back to see the crime. And look at, look at, here you, here you are. Yep, here I am, doing my fucking job. Makes with a, a lot of trouble. Ha, I get it. Huh? Because <laughs> you, your name's a lot of. Oh, it's alright. Can I taste your hair? Sure, go ahead. It tastes like strawberry. Oh my god, it really does. 
Oh, really? Oh, wow. You really are a human candy, uh, corn cotton candy. So you lost your camera. It ain't no ordinary camera. You bought it in a store and it's a $1,600 brand new. Mm. Uh, but didn't you just say you bought it for $700? Uh, well, I stole it. <laughs> I had a nice long talk with the guys in the store. About five hours, I reckon. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they turned you and told me to get take my camera and get the fuck out. I mean, this ain't a bit of scratch on it, and the magic got all hooked up in the face. He was like, mm. He gave me his talking to, and his was real mean about it. He done made me cry a thousand. I was like, bah! When did you lose your camera? <laughs> Last night, after the murder happened. Must have, been, must have been when I was busy running around looking at the things. <laughs> That's when I lost sight of my dear darling Spencer, sweetie. I can't believe no one's commenting on how, like, adorable Cheryl is. I don't know, like, I, <laughs> I just expect everyone to be like, Oh, look at you, hello! Oh, you want a, you want a little bear friend? <laughs> the little, that grabs a bear over there on the stool. Oh, yes! Now I'm gonna kidnap all of you and take them to... Oh, maybe not this bear. Oh, what the... Ah! Throw it down the stairs. Hello, when did you capture... When did you capture that expensive camera of yours? You're gonna be the one taking every picture in this fucking case, too, aren't you? I don't rather know. I snap shot of anything I call my eyes. I was like, ooh, dead body. Ooh, ooh, fingerprints. Ooh, important clues. So I don't, I don't remember. Besides, I couldn't get anything in my big scoop. One of the last missing cameras even connected to the murder. Oh, somehow I already knew what that camera looked like. Okay, what happened when you what, you know about what happened at the time of the murder? Well, from full ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ungar was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure went to school? Sure you went to school, city boy? <laughs> Wherever side heart goes, there's a store to be found. A big scoop we had. A big scoop? Of ice cream! <laughs> I told you before, I'm the best tabloid photographer for the world's ever seen. But of course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. Wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars I were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. What the fuck? Just tell me! Get to the point! Not are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you can take a picture of your big scoop. Well, maybe I was. That's what I'm free of joining us, dude. You like the only you're like you're like Detective Gumshoe, the only fucking journalist in this whole fucking place. <laughs> He's the only cop that exists. And o Obag is the only old lady that exists. <laughs> ah! I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture of the poop for poof? What kind of story was it you would was it that you would hang around here? Oh fucking shit. Well what are you well, well too bad you're gonna have to fuck have to unlock my locks, baby. Oops, I'm Mr. Lloyd can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Yeah, not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? Fuck. Even stopped, haven't we? Ha, ah, yeah, take that, Mr. Lloyd. Suck my dick. Oh, I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your eye rule smile. Whatever. Freaking get you later. Oh, hey, look, Lotta. Look at. Oh, I swear to God. Look at this thing. Uh, why doesn't anyone respond to it anymore? I told you how many times now. I'm a fucking journalist. I don't give a fuck about your stupid, stupid badge. Please don't get so worked up over this. It was just a grown up bitch. Shut up. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fucking shit. Bitch tough on kids. This guy's mine over, but all of youngsters. Jesus Christ. I'm going to show her. Hey, hey, look, it's your picture. This kind of hairstyle pretty hard to get, you know. Hard to take care of. To, to care for, too. Just another day I ran my hand through my hair to fix it up. And suddenly, out pops this dollar, dollar coin. That's got to be like hitting the jackpot. <laughs> oh, oh. All of a sudden, now pops a weird lottery ticket. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what a deep conversation that was. <laughs> Man, that was a good day. It's a fucking good day. What do you think of old bag? This old granny? Oh, she kept on glaring at me with those eyes of hers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> really? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen her actually open her eyes. As if it's my fault. Make a weird proud face of me. Keep kept babbling how she won't forget people who write trash about her wall. Oh yeah, we sorta of got enough little fight, you know. I mean, I had to deck around the vagina, but it's all good. <laughs> what? <laughs> little fight? No, those dudes really more of a blabbering contest. Blah, 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 blah. I only care for heroes and whatnot. God dang it! Ah. Blah 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 blah. Generics response I give when I don't know what the fuck you're showing me. Looks one. I don't really know what the hell this is, despite being the person who fucking died. Hey, look, it's you. It's Hugh Jackman. Oh my God, that guy's got abs of steel. Oh, I just want to grate cheese on him and make myself a souffle. Mm. 
Okay, all right, that's enough of that. Oh, good, okay, I can go in these rooms now. So I'm out on guard's room. Dude, it's just mountains of fucking weed. <laughs> uh, where are we? We're in Matt on guard's room dressing room. Didn't you read the message box? This is our client's room. Um, may I help you with something? Oh, may I help you with something? Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. Ungard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. Also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he's your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Well! <laughs> it's simple deduction, really. This trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ungard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here one stop at your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. Is that really the time to be showing up, Mr. Nick? <coughs> I'm Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. All right. Should maybe a small starcher, but apparently this is going to be deceiving. I'm going to grill your nuts. Sweet. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the awards ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. On Guard. What is that card she's holding? It's a picture of a pine nut. A pink pine nut. Oh, you look like a little, like, leaf or acorn or something. In this very room, I might add. We were having crazy erotic sex. Dinner, what did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a, took a look at your table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties, huh? <laughs> when the award show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. Viola, 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 probably Viola. Viola, Viola, yeah. After the show ended, you came back to this... Oh, after the show ended, you came back to this room, to his room. No, I had some small errands to run. To help with the preparations in the lobby. Oh. Preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to to call for Mr. Ongard. After that, I went to visit Miss Corita. And that's when he found his body, isn't it? You really held, held strong through everything. <laughs> I just honestly don't fucking care. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Okay. Um, so about you and... Stop right there. <laughs> oh! My boobs. Don't expect me to believe you have been talking to me without knowing how we how we relate. Sorry. I have no idea why Mr. Ungar cho chose you as his lawyer. Why did you have to go in and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. Thanks, Burley. Why doesn't Maya ever tell me to do things like that? All she ever does is like... Hey, <laughs> hey, Nick, buy me things! I'll give you a shoulder up to leave your stress layer. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay, bro. I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ongard's manager. And we fuck like and we fuck like hamsters. You, you don't need to keep telling me that. No, really. I actually have videos. You want to see? No, it sounds fine. It's manager. Speaking of managers, is the victim Mr. Green have one? No, he did not. He didn't. Well, the studios is a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruth It's very ruthless. <laughs> Whoa, your voice got kind of deep there for a second. Yes, I... <laughs> my voice can crack a bit when I'm doing these little girl voices. It's very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you could look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. What the hell is that my fault? You're wrong, guy. I'm doing the self Mystic Maya. I don't know who that is, and I don't care. <laughs> Pearl, calm down, hang in there. I'll buy you juice later, all right? Yeah. See, she is a bitch. Okay. I'm guessing I gotta present shit to you. All right, come on. Tell me thanks. Do you know the victim, Mr. Garita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with Nickel Samurai? Honest, honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two were competed with each other over the most in uninteresting things. If either one of them weren't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more she's she letting on. She must know why Juan Corita was killed. Ah, here we go. Awesome. <laughs> yes, I think I presented the right thing. Do you have any ideas? As to? As to why Mr. Corita was murdered. Please don't have any psyche locks. I don't, I don't need any more of that shit in my life. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? Oh, fuck you! Oh, you have four, too? Miss Andrews, ah! 
Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. You're full of shit. Is this psyche lock, Mr. Nick? Yes. Uh, you know what? Maybe you should do all the psyche lock stuff, Pearl. I think you're, you're really, I think you're a lot better at this stuff than I am. Okay. It's getting to be more and more of these lately. Uh, Actually, you know, we, you know this, this chick looks a lot like Samus, doesn't she? Especially with that blue outfit, she looks like Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? I barely want Curry to have a thing for bears. <laughs> oh, this is my family! Oh! <laughs> Say hi, family! Hi, family! <laughs> and they're all just like saying it at the same time. <laughs> they're climbing on me. No, 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 get off me! Mr. Nick, where are we? I think we're at Toys R Us. We're in Mr. Juan's Mongrito's room, Pearls. Mr. Carita? The victim! Which makes this uh, crime seem too. I like whenever she gets surprised, her two little bagel heads kind of kind of poke up like, Oh! Oh, it's you! So, what happened? The kidnapper has he caught on you yet? Ah! 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 Not yet, he probably won't until we, we win Mr. Unguard's squiddle. Stop breathing on me. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hang in there. So might be might be all right. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. I knew that even we want to look around the crime scene. Just as once. Special circumstances, right, pal? Ah, uh, yes. You said we were enemies. I fucking love you, Gumshoe. Nah, don't touch me. I'll let me tell you everything I know. But you gotta keep it quiet. Gotta keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. Thank you. I fucking love you. Well, that's right. I got you. I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go. Little, little Missy. Wow, you're giving it to me. Thank you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> See, I'm sure, I'm sure the only one who seems to like notice how like adorable Pearl is. <laughs> nah, you're, you're a cute little bugger. Just don't show her. Just don't show her your gun anymore. When you want to get lost in a hotel, do big for its own good. <laughs> Mr. Nick, look, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Hotel guide map, okay. Let's have a look-see. <laughs> this is the whole hotel, really? There's Madame Garb's room, Juan Carita's, the Vial Hall, the lobby, and nothing else. <laughs> All those other rooms don't exist. <laughs> that is a partial, but... Do you know what was the cause of, was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... One look at the scene of the crime should tell you, pal. The scene of the crime. Yeah, here's a picture. Ooh. There's a knife in his chest. Ow. <laughs> well, ar good that armor did you, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Is that ketchup? I think I see tom- Yeah, it looks like- Is that wine? I see a bottle over there. Looks like a tomato on it, though. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, pal. That's the murder- That's the murder weapon. So he was stabbed- He was stabbed to death. They're running the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There are fingerprints on the knife? Yep. And looks like they're pretty sure they're Ma Mr. Ungard's prince pal. Oh, fuck me, of course they had to be. That's bad, that's real bad. Why was Mr. Ungard arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Evidence? It looks like the victim, Juan Carita, really put up a big fight. Oh, it is ketchup, I see the bottle right there. Yeah, I wanna look at the scene of the crime, you can tell. <laughs> what is up with all the bears? I'm not even pointing out. Dude, that one, what, what's up with that one bear? You see him in the middle? His eyes are glowing right. He's like, oh, oh, bear of evil. So there was struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, his button, his button came off. Mr. Ungar says something about a button. Something like one of them jamming ninja buttons got caught in his hakama. But that's not all. What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Who is it? Oh, it's gonna be fucking old bag. I, I knew it. That old lady, Miss Oldbag. Please, anyone but her. Why? Ah! Rossi has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something of that at that crime scene that was a little off. Something that was a little off. As in? As in, that's for you to figure out, pal. All right, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. You could just get, you just give me the answer now. No, that'd be too easy. I thought she was an alien from outer space. <laughs> uh, she kind of, she kind of is. <laughs> yeah, pro yeah, probably because she's wearing that strange helmet. Not even with her helmet off, I thought she was an alien from <laughs> ah! 
I heard that. Oh my God, you got superhuman hearing. I knew it. Hey, look, it's Burly. Hey, little missy. What? <laughs> Listen good, okay? <laughs> okay, what is it? Don't ever pick a, pick a whip, okay? <laughs> pick a, don't ever pick up a whip, okay? Don't even think about it. <laughs> huh? If you ever find yourself thinking you want one, try to make do with a good slap to the face. Got that? Slap to the, slap the person in the face. <laughs> Please, don't whip me. No more. Promise me, okay? Burglar looks around and tells me gum shooter should be careful what he wishes for. <laughs> please, stop hitting me, please. <laughs> wow, there are a lot of bears. <laughs> alarm, alarm clock ones, collector's edition, stuffed titties, plastic bottles. It's pretty overwhelming. Is there a kind of bear he doesn't have? There's even a few in the trash can. <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling maybe the guy didn't really like bears. Oh. Poor Denny's. <laughs> I'll take you home. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to bear with all these problems. <laughs> Growl. Oh, 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 yucky, 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 yucky. Fuck, get out of my head, Mo. Get out of my head. I don't think I want to bear with the trauma of the last case can cause me. <laughs> we all know it was the worst case ever. <laughs> Actually, really. I, I, again, I didn't really think it was that bad. But <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Oh, just having horrible flashbacks. This is a guitar case. I guess a little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar's not in here. Maybe we gotta bring it to the show? But Mystic Maya, she said the bright red guitar was the Jam and Ninja's signature item. That's true. Huh. This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is water, isn't it? From a vase or something? Hmm. Uh, this drink here? Oh, oh my god, really? Oh, that was actually clear. I'm so glad I clicked on that little thing. It's a beautiful wine glass and there's tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like it much. <laughs> Should've had a V8. <laughs> Bonk. Smell a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right. The lower base was broken and the makeup is, is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still right? <laughs> he poured himself some. He poured himself some tomato juice right after he murdered him. He's like, to you, to the late Juan Corrido. Some of his wine glass. Ah, so you noticed it? You noticed it, pal? The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was un untouched. He knows that too. Did they gum shoe? No, actually, Miss Farmer Carmen told me. Knows it first, <laughs> then told me about it. <laughs> oh well, I was about to be impressed for a second. <laughs> yeah, Bros knows it before me too. Hey, wait a minute. So does that mean Miss Von Karma's coming here? Coming here? Yeah, she's coming. Man, you're going to be in so much trouble, pal. I'm gonna hear beeping in a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run. I think it'd be best if you didn't bump into her here. Think about the instant I see her, I'll be running the th a thousand meter dash. Oh fuck, she is coming. Doom is coming. Doom. Doom. Where's Von Karma? Tell me now. She's coming. She's coming. What's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Is that like her phone, like her calling him or something? I've heard the sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Whenever I hear that sound, for some reason, she pops out of nowhere with me. Don't really think of it, that it didn't happen the last time. Sorry, I gotta make myself scarce later, pal. Ah! <laughs> he did. I killed him. <laughs> At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Felix Right Ra! You're right, so it was actually me, and I ripped my face off, and. <laughs> it's Phoenix Right! Oh, wait, no, wait. And then I pulled my, another mask off, and I'm like, it's. Uh, wait, nope, still me. <laughs> I just keep pulling masks off, and it just keeps being my same, my same face. What the fuck was that? Oh, would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's a very dishonorable of you! Oh, I thought you were whipping yourself there for a second. <laughs> ah! I'm committing sepulchre on myself with a whip. Ow! Hey, don't you dare run away, scruffy McTrench coat! Ah, ah! I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this beautiful. Ah, stop it! Ah! Did you come over here for a second? <laughs> ah, 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 ah! Oh my god! You die now! No, save me! Save me, Phoenix, please! Pearl and I were just running the hell away. 
Screw, screw this! Uh. Well, he's dead now. Huh. I feel better knowing at least you are mad enough to, to face your punishment. He was so scared, he just froze up on that spot. <laughs> Mr. Venus, right? Ah! You, you are sold my perfect, perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. This time, victory is mine. Yeah, whatever. It is yours, is that all this means to you? What? Hmm. Come, Scruffface, the investigation briefing is about to begin. Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am, I mean, boss, I mean, shut up! This isn't over yet, I swear my family's honor. Oh, now what did she throw, what did she throw at me? What is this? Well, I guess this means I've got to get back to the precinct now. If you ever need me, come down to the Prayer and Affairs Department, all right? And if you can, try not to let Miss Von Karma see you. Please, or me, don't do it! She threw a card at me? That, oh, I didn't get added or anything. Oh, it's on the table. Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. A autograph? <laughs> it's Mr. Corita's, Mr. Corita's name written on, on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. What the heck? It looks like he just didn't give a fuck. Like most celebrities, I think. Uh, it's a special way of writing all cursive. Look here. See how it says, to my dearest, win to my dearest Wendy, in more normal letters here. It's so sloppy and readable. Writing is crazy and cool to get this to someone. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sick, twisted fuck would do this? <laughs> Ooh, to my dear Wendy. To my... To my dear old bag. Oh, here we go. Something for, to probably unlock one of her psyche locks. Hold on. Wendy, I read that name somewhere before. She, so wait, I'm sorry. Von Kammer threw that at me? Why would she throw that at me? It's like, here, take this clue now. And then she whips me and runs away like, are you trying to help me? I don't understand. Hmm. I'm also a little confused why I maybe had to examine it, because I, I think like, I could have easily missed that. Even though it, she threw it at me, it was like, it's like, okay, they added the picture. They added it to the picture here, but it might have been hard to notice. Mark Twain, Mark Skywalker Hotel, Val Hall. Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Oh, Mr. Bowers, have you been, have you been here the entire time? <laughs> yeah, people connected to the murder aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. <laughs> What's up, man? Can you tell me a little more about the Noko Samurai TV show? Okay. The Noko Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's a sequel to the Steel Samurai. I see. This time there are three Samurai brothers, Aluminum Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course the Nickel Samurai. It's a... a Love Y in Neo... It's a Love Y in Neo Tokyo. I see. Mm, wait. Mm. A Love what? A Love... A Love Y. This girl, Saya, works at a tea shop, and all three guys fall for her at the same time. Oh, I guess the Y is like the three brothers colliding over this one girl. Anyway, Saya was actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Cl Clan's leader. Sounds like an unusual situation. Like Romeo and Juliet. Times three. <laughs> yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the uh, office ladies. Um. Y yes, girl. What, what happens next? I want to know. <laughs> Messiah, does Messiah fall in love? She does, does she? <laughs> Every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm going to stop watching Gets Masterpiece Theater start starting this week. <laughs> I don't believe she's really considering it. Wow. That's yeah, funny. So what's the Diamond Ninja's TV show like? It started, it started from a remake of an old movie, to tell, to tell you the truth. The Java Ninja is, like, samurai shows aimed towards kids. I'm playing my guitar in front of a deer and a raccoon and bunny. I'm under a tree. It's the power of a ninja who can't climb a wall but became a big pop star. Uh, what? <laughs> he was really, he was a really lousy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do anything ninjas right, did do any ninja things right at all. Sort of like Naruto, right, or whatever. <laughs> But boy, could he sing. With his trusty, pa trusty right red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. A ninja with a right red guitar. And then the final fight in front of his beloved Princess Masola. Jemin versus the Murimachi Five. Son <laughs> Suddenly, our brave hero catches a not so jammin' cold the night before Battle 3. Oh, it's too bad for him. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I kind of like this show. But it's kind of pop music lo based love story. It's something high school girls really like. Um. Yes, Pearl. <laughs> what happens next? I wanted to know. <laughs> I knew she'd say that. Jeremy, the German ninja, will be able to say, What about Princess Mazzola? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pearl, you're the best. You're like the Nanako of this game, pretty much. Every Sunday at 8, at 8, 8 a.m. Um, what show should I watch? Oh, oh fuck. I'm so conflicted. Hey, please just really considering it. Hey, what do you think of this picture of yourself? <laughs> hey, is my is my face really all that scary? Kids won't come anywhere near me. <laughs> I like how he whips it. I just realized he whips out his, his handkerchief here when he's, he's like, <laughs> I, I'm, uh, he's just a big softy. I'm crying. Hoo But when I cover my face, they're all shocked because they then they figure out who I am. I think your face makes you look fair. Like a very kind person. Aw. Mmm. <laughs> Pearl's on. Aw. Aw. Mr. Powers is getting, get, is getting teary eyed. <laughs> you are the kindest people ever. Aw. I love you. I love you, Mr. Powers. Huh? Hey. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's mass manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> mm, so Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her, her. <laughs> I don't really know her, know her, you know? <laughs> There's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Ah, if you're interested, I can give you a little bit of details. He's so happy, he looks like the lion that's just found his next meal. Oh, all right, fantastic. God, I'm asking all the right shit this time. I'm... Just keep sending random shit, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna get him on the first try. What do you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, oh, so you're interested in it, too. I figured you would be. Yeah. I, I have such a weakness for ce celebrity gossip, too. <laughs> oh, really? You, too? <laughs> yes. Celebrity babies, man. <laughs> Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I'm so pumped. Yeah, so take a look at this. Looks like an old ta look like a tabloid Miss Oldman would read. All right, let's see here. Jam Midnight. Jam Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager of the star... To the stars, Miss A.A. You see now, don't you? What? You can't stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Wright. Von Karina didn't have a manager of his own. Which means if, you, if we're talking about the certain manager with the initials A.A. Adrian Andrews? Yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of odd that one Miss Andrews, together with the biggest rival of her client? Oh, uh, oh she, so she was with Von Karina, okay. Oh, it's that wonderful thing that, that can only happen between two people. <laughs> Mr. Powers looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just following along, not having an idea as to why, why he's smiling. <laughs> oh, well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Oh, all right, well, hot dog. Thanks, man. A superstar is in an ultra, ultra hot mega secret love scandal. Reliable sources say that Wong Creed has been getting in close with the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. I don't know why I didn't spell out her full name in the picture, but... So are you my Maya's little sister? I'm sorry, but no. Oh, then you must be Mr. Wright's little sister. Again, I'm sorry, but... Then whose little sister are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm only... I'm an only child. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> Bro looks so sad. She looks really sorry, too. <laughs> what? That was, that was painfully awkward. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm ready in a ready area yet, but she's got a bunch of things. Bunch of locks, so I don't know. But I got something that does seem to directly connect to Wendy Old Bag, so let's see. We'll try. What you witnessed. Alright, I'll be honest with you for now. Then please, that's what you saw. But oh, what a waste. And here I have a perfectly good chance to have a little fun at you, youngin's expense. Because I'm a little devil, after all. Yeah. Um, doesn't that imply you aren't a good person? <laughs> All right, I'll give you what you want. Uh, oh, you want an autograph. Ew. Oh, that's right, yes. But the autograph with, of course, her name on it, so. Here you go. Wow, well, that's one's autograph. Yes, it is. And that it even says to my dearest Wendy on it. That's me, right? Right? I'm guessing it probably isn't referring to you, or is it? I don't, I don't know. Um. My name is Wendy Oldback, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy. But somehow, I don't think one had this Wendy in mind when you signed it. Oh, please, give it to me. Let me have it. Please. Uh-uh. I can let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know. Then, how about an exchange? 
Oh, wow, wow, she must really want this autograph. Holy fuck. <laughs> Damn. I blew that. Are you kidding me? Wow, that was, that was, uh, misleading. <laughs> yes, four, three of them blew up already. Offer isn't good enough for you. Well, fine, Mr. I, you win. Wendy, all back right, open up her heart. Oh, my dearest one. Oh, my, all of them? You fuck you, old bag. Wow, I'm really glad I went with you first. Autograph to give in to Wendy Dearest. <laughs> I don't believe it. Wow, alright. Wow, way to mentally the player game. <laughs> I don't really like it when games do that, though. I mean, that was like, that was pretty like, trying to, that was kind of fucking with us, you know? There's four locks. You imagine at least four pieces of information. Nah, just kidding. I feel bad for you now. Huh? Huh? I tell you, I saw him. I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's, Juan's room. You're kidding! Oh no! It was about ten minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I, I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And? Did you tell that to the police? Well, of course. I thought I'd, I'd get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. Maybe more. <laughs> you're you're kind of, something kind of fucked up, you know that? Gift certificate? I've been recruited again for that trial. I, that part of the trial, you know, the trial tomorrow. Oh, good. That means I get my chance to I get a chance to grill you again. This time, you're you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get get your client pronounced guilty. But Mr. Ungard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about details like that. <laughs> I know he did it, my dear boy. One, and I just I just do. That that yellow belly chicken. A yellow belly chicken? I wonder what that would look like. <laughs> I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad, and I say he did. What did Mr. Ungard ever do to deserve this? What did Mr. Ungard do to make you so? You don't know. That guy, he framed my lawn. He created that scandal that plagued poor Juan. Oh. Mr. Dick. What is it? What's a scandal? <laughs> oh, um, I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? Poor Juan let us drive by the wilds of that tent vile temptress. Yes, the, the manager. Mr. Nick, what do wild, wilds and wild tempers, tempters mean? Ah! Uh, how about we just listen to what Miss Olbeck has to say for now, okay, girls? <laughs> oh, Miss Olbeck, ha. You people, have, these people have no, like, self-control. It's like, wow, I'm in front of this little girl, and you're just like, can you censor some of what you say a little bit? So Miss Olbeck, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? The only other girl in existence. <laughs> in this case... That, that guy shoved the girl into one on purpose. He's a manager, but why? I thought lawyers were smart. It was to create a scandal to make one lose face. That girl drove one into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. What do you know about that anyway, Miss Olbeg? I'm one of Bond's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. Can you prove that Miss, Mr. Ungar did what you say he did? The next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Uh, of course. A fucking tabloid. Oh, here we go. Now a lot of here. Next week? Doesn't that mean it's something people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Olbeck have information like that? And where did she get it? Ha ha ha! Alright, Lada, let's get this over with. Hey, I'm not hiding sheep. You don't know nothing. Alright, so she was here investigating that incident. That, the, the whole scandal between them. Lada, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loading around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I? With my scoop. What do I want to know about the details of this scoop? That's not something I can tell you. I mean, that that there's my bread and butter. All right, then. A pleasant tabloid photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Ah! Could it be that you, lot of heart, were looking for a break of the huge story? There was an unfolding scandal between Juan and Krita and this person. Up oh, here we go. This woman? He's Adrian Andrews, Man on Guard's manager. Ah! The Nickel Samurai's manager is se caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin' Ninja. Maybe the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, ball sack. You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Walloy. But well, you can't just make up an old, any old thing and think it'll make the papers. Gotta have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah. You gotta have that, uh, that's what it, what, what's it, new sauce? Um, you mean new source? That's it. Show me something that shows that Wong guy had some, had some with Miss Andrews. This thing. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jamie Midnight Rendezvous. 
To the mysterious yet beautiful manager of the stars, Miss A.A. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that expression of hers. <laughs> Mr. Greer didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. Ungard's manager, Adrian Andrews. She has the initials A.A. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were looking around Mr. Greer's door last night. <laughs> ah! Booyah! Pop, pop. All right, tell me about this shit. You were looking at Miss Greedy and Miss Andrews affair, weren't you? You got it. I was gonna get myself some scoop up, catching them in a sick meeting, making them, making them, having them fucking like rabbits. There's already an article about him in one of the weekly tabloid magazines. He's no longer breaking news. What you say? What is all AA? What kind of big thing is that? Ain't no proof of nothing. You looking to want to see real proof? Well, at least I do. So that's what I was doing, getting photos. I want to whip up the Cerritos Injures with some gossip and a little misleading. Then spice it up a little more and have myself an exclusive story. Wow, a lot of nice journalistic integrity you got there. Means, which means I'm just gonna lie about some shit. I'm like, man, she's pregnant with his baby! Mm. I already finished up writing my, my spicy article, you know. But the paper I wrote it on, my note, my note to myself, it's gone. Note to yourself? I was inside that the case of my $1,600 camera. They done run off to get I came here for a big, my big store. They didn't come here and have my treasure disappear on me. Yeah, I understand. Enough to make a gal go bonkers, I tell you. <laughs> What's with the people nowadays? Now, anyway. I thought I'd see the day when someone done steal, steal some from me. You really want that note back, huh? I've got no idea what, why, though. The story on that note is probably a bold-faced lie. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say sorry to you. Or, well, I really absolutely thought you were the murderer. <laughs> you thought Perot was a murder? You know, last time that thing with Miss pa Miss Pape. What? But why? I mean, you were all worked up, you know. <laughs> Me? <and he> <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh yeah, Perot went Pro and murdered like everybody. Lord, that was very insensitive of you. God, you you people fucking suck. Fuck all of you. You guys are a bunch of dicks. All right, all right, you on the other hand probably do have four real ones, right? Maybe. Vote for murder. I was one Korean to murder. If you ask me, I think you know the real reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. Ungar's life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions for which I have no answer? The truth is, I was not at the... I was not that close to Mr. Karita. You were not that close? That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with another person. No good at being intimate with another person. Somehow I highly doubt that. Check this out. You must agree had an intimate relationship, did, did you not? A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe in such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people thought, brought them to this story. Hmm, that's to be expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. Notice so, stay on our good side. In any case, I despise inter interpersonal relationships like that. I see, however, whatever there was a need for you to get close to someone. Me. Need to get close to Mr. Karita as if there was ever such a need. Need close to Mr. Karita for this person's sake. For your... Er, uh, okay. Do you really still not understand? It's not my nature to enjoy doing things for others. Uh, back to this place again, <laughs> which looks exactly the same as before. The same two people in the same spots. And look, it's the blue badger over there. Here comes your other lady in investigation briefing. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Hey, so you came, pal. Why the blunt greeting? Um, because there's n there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? Well, things look perfect this time around. The evidence and the testimony are airtight. But, but, we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. What you talking about, Willis? So what did you mean by airtight, evidence is airtight? I can't give you all the details, pal, but there's two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in this photo. Versus the button that's missing from the victim's chest. Oh yeah, that's right, I, I see. Now I see what he's talking about, where the knife went through. And there's that button that you found during, there's that button that you found during your, uh, during your body search of Mr. Ungard. Yep, I found it in the folds in, in the Nickel Samurai special pants. Um, uh, and the second one is? The knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest, too. In his chest, to be exact. Fingerprints? Um, who's the... Who's are they? 
You didn't have to ask, little missy. It's obvious. They're mad on guards. Tomorrow's trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. I really like James Franco right now. So what about this airtight testimony? Is that old scaredy lady, Miss Olbag? I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? You, did she tell you something, pal? Um, well... I even told her not to open that mouth of hers and blab to anyone. Her blab knob is stuck on tent, and there's no turning it down, trust me. Yeah, well, Miss Olbag saw it all, pal. She saw Mr. Ongar come out of the victim's room around the estimated time of death. No way! Bro, <laughs> we already learned about that, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, there's a bug in my room. Where'd it go? God, fuck, he's flying around. He's getting ready to murder me. No, bug. I don't have time for you and your bullshit. I must solve a case. We're pretty interested in this bit of gossip ourselves. A scandal with Miss Garita, but why? Well, two years ago, a woman... Oh! ...committed suicide. Ooh, what was that? Suicide? Her name was Celeste in Impacts. In Impacts. In Impacts. And she was Juan Carita's manager. Ooh. The victim's manager? Well, that's not all, pal. Miss Impacts was Miss, Miss Adrian, Adrian Andrews' mentor. Oh, here we go. And she told Miss Andrews everything she knew about the business from square one. Ah, uh, here we go. I see. Okay. This is this is where I can answer her question before. Her. Like, you did it for this person. This for her mentor. Or her mentor? A woman who was with Miss Greta's manager and Miss Andrews' men mentor. Could her suicide have something to do with this case? You want to know more about her, pal? Well, then you have to click my stupid icon. Uh, God dang it. Just tell me. Now you have to click my stupid thing. She was a victim's manager and was also Miss Adrian's men Adrian Andrews' mentor. mentor. It's been two years since her suicide, and now those those two are linked again by another death. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. <laughs> but no oh, text. <laughs> I'm getting sick of dealing with one foolish idiot after another. Miss Monk, oh, Miss Monk, Miss Monk, ah, you're standing on my balls. You can't seem to stop allying yourself with the enemy, can you? You don't need a traitor. I don't need a traitor in my midst. You, you, you don't. You don't mean. I do, Scruffy. We have 30 minutes to get out of here. You are no longer needed. Goodbye. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. That. Wait, please, please wait, sir. Please. If I don't get this month's pay, I'll start. <laughs> Quiet. I don't care. You can fucking drop and die for I give a shit. If I want to, if it weren't for traitors like you. Uh. I would have won. Is that what you want to say? Hmm. Ah. Who? Who said that? That voice. Oh. 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 Oh, my lord. You would have won. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my sweet balls is Edgeworth. Edgeworth, my long lost lover. Yes. Get over here right now. Make out with me. Yes. <laughs> you just hear my uh, like in the distance. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I still don't know what Yowie is. Edward! It's been a long time, right? Where the fuck have you been? Where did your blue coat go from that cutscene? I was wearing it over this coat, I guess. This person? This is Mr. Edward. What am I going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong. Yes, Edgeworth, my arch nemesis, who's also my lover, has come to save me. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Francisca. Ah, oh, that's a new expression. Oh, that's right, they knew each other. You, you! How dare you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon it! You saw the uncommon name and dragged it through the mud! <laughs> Run away with your tail between your legs like the ill-bred dog you are! Aren't you talking about the Von Karma family, Creed? To be, <laughs> be perfect in every way? Are you talking about the Assassin's Creed? Fuck that game. Then let's hear it, Francisca. How are things going? I hear you are, you're having a rough time maintaining a perf perfection in this country. You fuck! You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Give your substance to yourself. I, I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I'll never hand it over to you. Never. Ah! Mr. Phoenix, right? <laughs> you hand it over to somebody who's more interesting. <laughs> Shut up! I'll see you tomorrow in court. It will be a clinical lesson on the meaning of total victory. Oh, uh, what a slut. <laughs> Still the same wild mare she always was. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going now. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, not what I meant to do. Oh, wait, oh, wait, actually, is he my court record now? 
Yes, he is. I heard a prosecutor. He was married suddenly about a year ago, and now he lives once again. I thought you, the prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, had gone and died. Mr. Nick! I, I never wanted to see you again. I think it's enough of your of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen in a year. Jesus. Are we gonna are we gonna do this or not? <laughs> are you going to run tomorrow's trial? You heard her, right? That wild mayor hasn't given in yet, it seems. <laughs> so no, I don't think I'll be making an appearance. Ah, balls. <laughs> I wanna face off with you again. That would be awesome. No, you'll probably have to wait for the next game. Your hatred for me is is quite unhealthy, not to mention one sided. But I will say one thing. Remember, remember when I helped you out last case, that Damon Gant case that never existed? Oh yeah. You can't win on your own at the at the trial tomorrow. Well, what is that supposed to mean? I have, I have something definitive that you lack, and that's the de definition of teamwork. It's the power to find the truth. The truth. In order to understand this case, you have to understand a certain truth. Well, if you if you ever feel the need for my assistance, it is it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. Dude, why the fuck wouldn't I want to? There's what going on inside his head. A lot of things may have happened, never, however, Men Von Karma was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is a proof of, un, of a Von Karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Are those losses the, this, the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecutor's office? Did you have to leave because you, lost, you, you had lost your perfect win record? Do you think your motivation for a prosecution trial was so selfish? It'd been better for everyone if you never came back from the dead, Edgeworth. <laughs> wow, you're being a real dick right now, you know that? <laughs> and I brought you flowers, too. I see, then let me ask you something. Why do you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? I will tell you. Well, if it was Francisca, she would almost definitely say, I will defeat you this time, the instant she saw. The instant she saw, oh. The instant she saw, who said that? The instant she saw me. But. The courtroom is not a personal battle for prosecutors and lawyers. I stand in the courtroom to defend my client. To save their lives. To save your client, you say? Those who only think of their own ego-driven dri goals. Those kind of prosecutors are rep reprehensible to me. Even if you're a prodigy. Or someone like you, Edgeworth. <laughs> it's like... It looks like there's still a lot you have yet to learn. A lot I have yet to learn? Me? I'm awesome! Huh. Well, that's enough for now. The time when you will see is coming soon enough. All will come to pass. I'm the all-knowing Edgeworth, after all. Hey, look, it's my credit badge. I have no interest in talking about useless evidence. Put a little more thought into what you show me, Phoenix Wright. It'll stuck up as ever. And what about, uh... What about this face of you? We are looking into leads. We can only look into a few key players without limited resources. There's no reason for us to waste our energy on investigating this person. This is a picture of you. <laughs> okay, what about this? Oh. Hmm, this woman is another key to the case. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews, a men mentor a long time ago. But suddenly, she was called away by a production and became Juan Carita's manager. And then a few months later, later Celeste and Pox died. Damn, damn, you really keep up with the news, man. What are you, where are you, where, I'm surprised we haven't asked where he's actually been this whole time. Dude, I was, <laughs> I was on vacation, man. Get off me. I was getting some tan. You like my tan? You don't look any different. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but another was a suicide, right? Yes, but there's still one riddle left unsolved. A riddle? Her suicide note. It went missing. No one could find no one could find it. Suicide note that just just vanished, huh? Adrian Andrews. She holds a large secret within herself. A secret? You can't help but feel that this whole case revolves around her. <laughs> hey, remember her? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Don't show, don't show her, don't show me a picture of her. Oh, Edgy Poo! Oh my God! I'm so hot for you right now. <laughs> oh God, no! Please, don't do it. When I was abroad, these poor old types of actors became popular. I take it. Well, refreshing like a spring breeze is motto. Refreshing? What is so refreshing about a spring breeze? <laughs> you tell me that now, Phoenix Wright. Sounds like the pollen is not treating him well this year. <laughs> what about this guy? Oh, that guy looks like no, that movie, No Country for Old Men. That's what I said! <laughs> There's an interesting rumor about this man. You mean the one about Miss Andrews getting close to him? Well, that's pretty common tabloid fair, isn't it? I don't think I don't take things at face value when there's more to be found. Hey, remember her? I don't care about her. She sucks. What about Pearl? I don't care either. What about Maya? 
Oh, she's dead to me. What about Dick Gumshoe? Nope, don't give a shit. Mr. Powers? Fuck your shit. Oh, hey, I've got my own theme song. Lou, 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 Lou. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't ask you about this. <laughs> I didn't realize I could, I could press more on that. Miss, uh, Miss Impact's death was most certainly a suicide, of that there is no mistake. However, we could not find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspect this, suspect that somebody had, someone had hidden it. The suicide note? But how do you know Miss Umbox had even written such a note? There was no solid evidence, however. We did find traces of ink on her right index finger, which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. But who would hide such a, hide such a thing? Police think it was Mr. Juan Carita himself. The victim? Oh. Ah. He was the one who found her body. Which makes him the only person who had a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Greta, he doesn't manage a suicide note, but why? Also, there, as you can see in that flashback picture, there's actually a note on the table. Because <laughs> I'm really, because I have superpowers. As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is a sui suicide report, part one anyway. Part one? Oh, all right. To see Celeste, Celeste and Pox, Juan Carita, was her suicide note hidden? I don't like to look through like look through the reports. I like I like suicide reports even less. First of all, are the reports that I have multiple parts like that one? That has two. Two parts? What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here's the second part. Second part report has been I've been attempting suicide. They told his name. It's Andrew and Andrews! Oh. Oh wow, I'm really glad Oh my god, I'm so glad I presented that to him. I it's like, really? That was kind of a that's kind of annoying. No, I had to. I had to look at it, and then I had to present it to him again for him to give me the second part. Yes, of course I did. Oh, Miss Andrews, what'd she do? Oh, God, I feel like I feel like a sh girl should not be like seeing some of these things. She she tried to kill her. Tried to kill herself. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to try and kill herself. You think she's a strong career woman? That is just her image. Adrian Andrews. She has a certain secret she's always trying to hide. A secret. Her codependency. That's the key word. Codependency? The word most unsuited to describing that woman. Oh. Oh, it changed. Here we go. So are Adrian Andrews and codependency related? Adrian Andrews' attempt at suicide was a few days after the death of Celeste and Pox. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? Quite possibly because she had, l she had lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she... Her pillar of strength, her mentor, Celeste Impox, was gone for forever. That's why. Why would that- Is this what they call following someone to the grave? Oh my god. What books have you been reading, Burl? Good lord. After her attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. She's a person who looks for someone who she can trust unconditionally. And when she finds that someone, she blindly follows them. I see. Okay. Without someone to guide her, she feels uneasy and can't carry herself through life. Ah, and that's... that's your codependency? When Celeste and Pox suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned up pitch dark. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Doctor patient confidentiality my ass. <laughs> Seriously, how the fuck did you hear about that except for probably talking with the doctors? <laughs> Whatever, we don't give a shit about that in Japan, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. <laughs> it had a little symbol underneath that C there. Does facade normally have that? Whatever. She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. Oh, terrible. Oh, there we go. Alright. Thanks, Edgeworth. I love you. Yes, whatever. Fuck you. That's right. Take my take my what I give you and run off like they, like you always do. Well, maybe I won't be waiting when you get back. Oh, no, you will. You will always wait for me. Damn it. You read right. You saw right through me. The Yaoi is strong with this episode. And now she's gonna magically reappear in her room again, right? Oh, how did I know? Oh, Miss Andrews is here. What a quick kitty. It looks like she's talking with someone. That's Francis Magarba. Miss Magarba. What are you doing? What, what are you doing here? Um, well, you see, uh, ah! push her out the window. Ah! <laughs> oh, she's dead, finally. Now we can all rest in peace. <laughs> I'm his lawyer, so. You've got some nerve following me around. Following you? You're the one stalking me like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Miss Von Karma. You're the one doing the following. Pearls. 
You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do have little whiskers, don't I? Me, following after Scruffy. Don't make me laugh. I'll show you something interesting, little girl. <laughs> Holy shit! We get like a little tracking device or something. Beep beep. Okay, I thought it was a I thought it was a cell phone ring. What is that? An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on that detective. Oh my god! <laughs> and with this, I know that fool's every move. So you pretty much me following him? How ridiculous! Here, let me show you the tracking device I put on him to show me that I am following him. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. What are you proving? Is that is that noise we with this receiver? I feel really sorry for poor detective comes to you now. I stuck up. A, I stuck the. <laughs> The transceiver up his butthole. He'll never know. <laughs> no, I did know. I saw you do it. You were there. <laughs> you touched me in weird places. And now then, let's stop wasting time. Agent Andrews. <laughs> yes. Yes. Think, think hard about what we just discussed. I'll just do it. Ah! All right. What were those two talking about? <laughs> did he just, did she just whip her? Hmm. <laughs> Phoenix Wright is suddenly interested. <laughs> Miss Andrews, she seems a little dazed, doesn't she? All right. Hopefully she's not still in the room. <laughs> Shut up, you can't ask our questions. Ah. Free country, bitch. I know where the fuck I want. Oh. Oh. Oh! That was weird. I think that bug, that bug that was flying around my room just decided to give up on living. Because he just... He was on my desk and he was just kind of like... I think he was... I don't know what he was doing. He was just kind of, he was kind of like, he was like he was trying to, maybe he was trying to fly, but he was like just kind of rolling in circles on the desk. And I, I got him. I smacked him good. Farewell, well, buggy. You shall haunt me no more. Ah, 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 ah. He was just like, kill me now, Nico. Kill me now. Fine, I shall do thy bidding. All right, let's get this shit done. You did it for your mentor's sake. Yes. Celeste and Baxter mentor. Why do you why do you know about Celeste? Boom! Ms. Inbox, she committed suicide, didn't she? But it looks like no one knows why. Oh, now she's sweating. Fuck me. Right before her death, she was one Karina's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Karina so you could find out more about her suicide. You have a great ima great imagination. But if the future yet is as a slimy muck muck rat. I thought I said motherfucker for a second. As a slimy motherfucker. <laughs> Or a future third rate tabloid. Miss Andrews? There was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved. This was no note. Miss Unbox's suicide was never was never found, was it? Oh. Her suicide note. It looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had it. Like maybe the person who discovered her body, Mr. Garita. One. Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Mr. Garita. Boom! I've sat by quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. It's true that Celeste was my mentor, however, allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't even know that her suicide note was never found. A person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. That's the impression you'd like to give, however. I don't think I... That's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This proof that Celeste Inbox was someone very special to you. Shock from Celeste, yes. This! Miss Andrews, you, you went through it too, didn't you? Went through what? A suicide. Hmm. Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't, you don't ask for anyone's help and you live by yourself. Yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie of a sod with the little symbol under the sea. You you always searched out people on whom you can de depend on. That's... You were dependent on Miss um, Impox, weren't you? Which is why, when you, she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop. Boom. When Celeste passed away, so, so suddenly like that, I died a death of my own, but... No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the, the police report. The one that said that the police suspected Mr. Carito of hiding Miss Impox's note. You heard about it and thought to recover from him by getting close to him, am I right? 
If that's the case, then everything changes. What do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? It was why was the victim killed? Exactly. So, my Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the most one most likely to want Mr. Corita dead. Me? Miss Simbox was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder. <laughs> murder? Boom! Game over, bitch. Game over. Game over, Zero Suit Samus. It's true, I'm a woman who can only live in insecurity. I'm physically small and I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. I've pushed again against all that, though. I've tried to live this strongly. I never want anyone to find out the, the truth. Fuck that doctor for giving all that information to the detectives. Miss Andrews! This one thing, this is the one thing I wanted to talk to take with me to the grave. It was my secret, mine and mine alone. I'm I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Yes. No. Please, Miss Andrews, all I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note, and that someone was Juan Corita. Celeste, without her, without her, I became scared. Everything, everything seemed, everyone seemed like they were out to get me. The walls were closing in. So you got close to Mr. Corita to recover her suicide note, correct? Looks like that tabloid reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely added fuel to the fire, they kept that's the celebrity world burning. But as for the suicide note... Suicide note? I didn't. Wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me. That's all. Well, that's enough for now. I still have to work to do so. I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted at suicide. I'd like for you to keep it a secret. Nope, dude, don't care. Miss Andrews! If, if, if people found out about my, about my weakness, I, I would sooner choose to die than live. Alright, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. My death will be on your hands. I thought we didn't learn anything from this. About, <laughs> I mean, other than stuff I already confirmed with you. I mean, I guess when I'm going through that conversation, sort of learned a bit, I learned a bit about it. But I don't know. After it's not like after after I completed that section, then I talked with her. It's like she she gave me any new information, you know. Miss Andrews, I guess she's always thinking, the thinking, the always thinking type. She never does anything carelessly, it seems. Thank you very much, Mr. Nick. Can I ask you something? Well, what is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hands since a little while back. Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that too. The card? Yeah, I guess she has. That's what I've been wondering. What the fuck is that? Is that an acorn on there, Miss Andrews? What is that card you're holding? Huh? Oh, this. I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. A uh, what? Now I'm just twirling it for some fucking reason. Oh, it's a sh it's like a seashell. It is, yeah. What is it? Looks like a seashell. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember holding this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. And she's just, I like she just picks it up. It's like, oh, look, a card in my bag. I'm just going to keep it and twirl it around. Not throw it away or something. Or not remembering something clearly? It's not like it would be a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. I leave Mr. On Guard in your capable hands. Watch me in our hotel hallway. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can. All right, there we go. Oh, Mystic Maya, is she all right? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all. Has been walking all over the place with me today. And there's funny little... Funny little sandal things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no. I'm okay, really. I I'm fine, I really am. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You don't look fine to me. Come on, let's go back. Go take a s You can go chill out on the couch there. And I'll talk to our plant. Hello, plant. Aren't we first Ryan Cole off this? So, what now? Well, we did find one thing, for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. Be Miss Impox's suicide note? That's right, she was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick, the transceiver! Oh! Hello, this is the law of the Wright & Co. Wright & Co. This is me, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Shut up, I know who you are. <laughs> Mr. Attorney, you're, an you're not answering a phone. <laughs> Maya, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not come. I have not come within a few feet of her this whole time. You! Which is why I suppose that she is absolutely famished. <laughs> what? 
so I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost, wouldn't you agree? Wait, my let me hear! At least give her a, give some chicken nuggets. She loves those things. Very well. Ask my... My is that you? Sis! Ask my sis! Ah! Ask her to give me some chicken nuggets! <laughs> okay, alright. So we're gonna summon back her sister again, probably. Maya, Maya, damn it, he got me off! Miss Maya said ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean by that? What do you think, stupid? <laughs> Oh god dang it! That means that means Mia's gonna Mia's gonna come down and inhabit Pearl's body again. Ah, uh, that doesn't stop getting disturbing. Come on, Phoenix. Uh, oh, come on, Phoenix. You're a hopeless one. Ah, I've already done it. Oh my god, why? I'm sorry. Ah, 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 no, stop doing that. Stop doing that to Pearl. Oh god. Thank God these God our clothes are stretchy. I think I'll put my arm up here to prevent my boobs from popping out. Mia! I have a message from Maya, so come come ask me anything you want about her. Oh, okay. It looks so weird. Like, it just looks like... It just, it does. It looks really weird. Like, they took the top half of Pearl's head and, like, put it on somebody else. It just, it just looks wrong. How's Maya? She's safe, for now. That kidnapper's one to, one to keep his word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe. But Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. She read the notes she'd left. I read the notes she'd left. And I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use your spear channeling like this. Pretty smart of her. <laughs> Will you ever rest in peace? <laughs> Probably not. I'm just gonna be sticking around, I guess. The kidnapper, what's he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. Why don't we remember the guy who fucking, who fucking told about us about the call? Who had the weird scar on his face that was painfully obvious. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Uh. My eyes locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? Dang, question mark, lame. Question mark, okay, question mark. Uh. Eh, I'm starving. Ugh. I really need some chicken nuggets right now. There's a piece of paper over there. I can really go for some apple. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. She said chicken nuggets. It's an apple pie. I'm mean, gonna time like this. Sweets are the only way to go. I'm just a pussy. They probably wasn't going to kill me. I'm not gonna die. Sis, what are you with Nick right now? Oh! God, this is. God, this is a long. If I don't just say the door first, I'll be moving anywhere. <laughs> God, this is a long investigation section. I thought I was almost done, and it's now. And it's now, Miss Maya. It's like, oh my God. This video's been going on forever! I'm the obvious thing. Oh. Oh, someone dropped a card here. God looks like a business card, but there's no name on it. It's got a seashell on it. I want a picture of a seashell, I think. Or a straight card. For some reason, I have all the stuff that, if, <laughs> that Nick has right now. How the hell did I do that? I've got a strap guy, I got superpowers. Try it's locked! That would've been- Oh wow, the door's unlocked! I'm free to go! I don't know why I didn't try this earlier! This door's locked. Seems easy enough to open. A TV to hear all use a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. Then click to magically open the door! I wonder if there's a card like that around here. How about the thing I just fucking looked at earlier? That's shit! That's shell card! If I use this man, get the door open! This might be my key out of here! And I feel this car might be useful! I'm such a fucking genius! I'm so cool! Alright, now if you- Excuse me! Mr. Kidnapper! I did it! <laughs> I fucking did it! Well, that was easy! <laughs> Nico, I did it! <laughs> oh, okay, now I'm getting that guy out of here! I shouldn't keep Nick waiting. Or worried. I should also get some chicken nuggets. Mm. Oh, there we go. To be continued. Oh, so is the next section gonna be me playing as her and like trying to get out of there or? Are we gonna start the trial yet? Like, oh my god, like, really? Okay, <laughs> good, I was like, I'm glad we didn't go through a really long section with mine, because I was like, it's like, good lord, can we just get to, like, the Contubi Continue part, because this video's been going on forever! <laughs> but it's interesting, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, like, it's definitely got me intrigued. Mmm, so many unanswered questions, and now Edgeworth is here, and we're totally making out what it's all over. B babies will be made, somehow. 
But uh, anyway, like, review, enjoy, subscribe, now become Picky Bing, one aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the fits are always funny. It's next time, guys. Stay classy.